It's back to work for Nebraska here on a shortened week. Hi, Sean Callahan with HuskerOnline.com as Illinois on the road Friday night in Champaign. For Matt Rule and his team, they wasted no time as they went full pads here on Sunday. Uh, they'll have their regular off day Monday. Then on Tuesday, come back again for another full pad of practice. Yeah, we practiced last night. Full pads. Yeah, we practiced, yeah. I'm saying that like, no, but yeah, we went out in full pads. We competed. Yeah, we said, hey, we didn't. It's a short week, so it's kind of like a Tuesday, right? So it's it's that too. But we didn't really we didn't really play the level we wanted to on Sunday. So we went out, we put the ball down, we played, and you know what? Guys had fun playing. Rule gave some key injury status here as well on linebacker Luke Grimer and safety Deshaun Singleton. Uh, Deshaun Singleton uh, hurt his knee. He'll be out for an extended period of time. I would expect to have him back at some point. I don't know when that'll be. So Deshaun will be out this Friday. Uh, Luke Grimer. Um, uh, out of the hospital, uh, back and forth, kind of a little bit. So uh, Luke, Luke won't play this Friday, but hopefully we'll have Luke healthy and back with us here soon. So, a lot of questions about the quarterback going in this week. Uh, it's assumed by many it will just be Heinrich Harburg, but not so fast. I feel very confident with Heinrich being the starting quarterback. That, that being said, I also I, I have a lot of confidence in Jeff. I know it's not probably a great answer, but we went out, we practiced practice last night, Sam. We we, we practiced practice last night, and uh, Jeff looked awesome. Jeff looked great. Heinrich. Heinrich looked great. Chubba looked good. So, um, you know, I'm getting them both ready. Um, you know, but I have, I have full confidence in Heinrich. In the midst of losing, and I know there were some things, some batted passes and all that, thing, but in the midst of losing, I saw things from Heinrich that, that I wanted to see. I saw him compete. I saw him, you know, I saw him and Billy work well versus man and went on some option routes. So I saw some things that I think we need to add to our run game. Just have to get the run game back to what it had been doing. And for Jeff Sims, that ankle injury has been lingering, but it appears he's getting closer to being 100%. No, he had a high ankle sprain. You know, I just think he's so tough that he was out there. Like, even last week in practice, like, he's out there, but he you know, kind of, you know, he's kind of Cam last week. Cam was out there moving around, but they just, they just can't do fully everything. And so, you know, as a quarterback, you can be available as kind of an active guy. Um, as a D lineman, it's kind of hard to push off. So uh, I, I think, um, you know, when, they, when that first happened, you know, I usually think of high angle sprains being four to six weeks. So I, I expected it to be probably around now. Running back also continues to be a position of question. Anthony Grant uh, was rested after the third quarter, but it gave us an opportunity to see Josh Fleeks, who had a 74-yard touchdown run. Yeah, we've been going with Anthony. Um, you know, Anthony just has to protect the football. You know, I mean, I, you know, when he, when he fumbled that game early on, I know a lot of people kind of said he's in the doghouse. Why is, no one's in the doghouse. It's just It's just – you can't, we can't play the way we want to play and put the ball on the ground, right? So it happened again in the red zone. So we're just, I'm working with him all the time. I love the guy. I walked off the field with him like, hey, you'll be back. Let's go. Um, Fleeks, I just think, showed us a dynamic element. And I thought Emmett played really well. So Emmett played really well. Quentin, you know, we've been trying to bring Quentin along. There's just a big difference. He's so talented. It's a big difference from going from like seeing cards to being out there and they can be in one of seven different defenses. And so Quentin's coming, but I think Josh has been the one guy that really kind of, Jump so he can play receiver, he can play tailback. So, um, you know, Anthony will just work on ball security. Fleeks will keep bringing him along, and Emmett's a guy I think can do it all. Kicker has been an issue for Nebraska at times this year. Tristan Alvano has missed his last three kicks. Rule, though, still stands behind his talented freshman. He's just like the rest of us, <laughs> you know. Um, he's just like the rest of us. I've got to be better. Uh, the O-line's got to be better. The D-line's got to be better. Trist Tristan has to be better. Tristan can kick better than he's kicking right now. And so um, – um, he's got to get it corrected. You know, he was out there last night. He was kicking. It's not for a lack of uh, effort, not for a lack of trying. But, um, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm going to always, when I go to the game, I'm going to trust our guys to make the plays that, they're that I think they can make. Now, that might adjust the line. You know, he might go for it a little few more times. But, you know, we went through one for one fourth and one. It didn't work out for us, right? But um, I think Tristan can do it. I, I know he can do it. And uh, he's a young player. You know, sometimes I would have loved to have, Brought him along a little later, but he's he's going through the fire right now. And I, the good news is, I think he's recognizing. Again, when we talk about that fear and confidence. Like, hey, the, you know, I'm missing some bit kicks that I want to make. I'm still here. I'm still making it. I'll I'll, I'll be okay. And so, uh, Tristan's just going to have to get better, like the rest of us. And going back to that loss to Michigan, I think the biggest thing for Rule was his team did not show up ready for a fight. Yeah, we, we absolutely we, we were hesitant in the way that we played. Like our pass rushers. Our pass rushers rushed to make to try to keep their quarterback in the pocket instead of cutting loose to go rush the quarterback because he ran for a touchdown. But he ran for a touchdown because one of our young D linemen didn't you know went the wrong way and didn't execute his didn't execute his assignment. Um, 
you can't play football trying not to make mistakes, right? You just can't do it that way. You've got to attack, especially a team like Michigan, right? Like, you have to attack. But the bigger thing for me, and I'm saying this out loud so that our, it's spoken into existence, is I want to be the type of team that we're playing like this and then we get down 14 nothing, and we're like, oh, oh, heck no. I'm not playing like this. I'm not, lo- I'm not losing 45-7 in front of my mom. <laughs> like, I'm going, to play, I'm going to play better. Not jumping out and doing my own thing, but trusting ourselves and trusting our technique. So when people say learning how to win, if you haven't won – um, a lot, it's hard to figure out how to win. So it's like, I'm doing this, okay? Don't make mistakes. Well, we lost because we made mistakes. Don't make mistakes. I'm going to do my own thing. And, and it, I want, the, if you have confidence, like that, the team we play, play with confidence, right? You go out there, you play with a little swagger. You do your job, you do it at a really high level. Their, lo- their longest play was 29 yards. It wasn't like it was like, you know, just running by us, we couldn't cover. It was 29 yards on a busted assignment. Um, we could have played better than that. So I think that it's, it's that, hes- that hesitation of not wanting to be the guy who messes up. But great, we need our player, great players to be great players, and we need them to go make plays and make plays within the scheme, not outside the scheme. So that was that was pretty clear last night. And I, I I take full responsibility. My job is to teach them how to win. Um, so if 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 we haven't figured out yet how to win, we were so close at Minnesota. That was what it was supposed to look like. And just because we lost doesn't mean you start searching for different answers. You just double down on what we did then. So here we are on the road again. We have a chance to go on the road, play a good team. Let's. Let's go do what we were doing. Rule is also big to praise Nebraska's fans for continuing to stay behind this team. Terrence Knight said to me, he said, I can't believe we played that badly. And people were still there and they were cheering for us and all those things. I mean, it's just, it's an amazing, it's a, you can't help but say thank you to the people that came. And short weeks aren't easy, but Rule's got plenty of experience, both from his days in the MAC conference at Temple, as well as in the NFL. <laughs> Yeah, I uh, you know I was in the when I was in the American in the Mac you know you, uh, when, I, when we were in the Mac when I was an assistant coach I you know I couldn't tell you if it was Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday because you play a Thursday night a Friday night a Saturday night you know the only thing tough is that you get back at like you know we play these night games on the road you get back so late you know but thankfully the guys have thankfully it's a Friday night so we played Thursday we played Friday we're gonna play another Friday um, I don't really love night games very much because you're sitting around especially on Fridays you know at least on Saturdays you can watch other teams play on Fridays you're watching you know as the world turns or something you know. So it's, it's not super, super, super ideal, but, um, you know, like I said, we're not going to, you know, it is what it is. But, um, yeah, the changes in the week just kind of uh, this week. We'll keep our kind of our normal rhythm, except we brought him in on Monday. We did more last night. And uh, I, I, I trust Mitch, our sports science uh, guy. He just does a great job with the recovery and trying to make sure I don't do too much, you know, to make sure they're fresh for Friday night. Huskers off Monday. They're back here on Tuesday reporting with the Nebraska football team in Lincoln. I'm Sean Callahan of HuskerOnline.com.